First, though, two Russian tycoons are about to go head-to-head -head in a legal battle in London. The self-exiled Boris Berezovsky, who is a wanted man in Russia, has filed a lawsuit against business magnate Roman Abramovich. In the suit, Berezovsky claims the owner of Chelsea Football Club illegally forced him and the late Georgian billionaire Badi Pazakashvili out of a number of businesses. Our London correspondent, Dari Pushkova, has the story. Two wealthy Russians with two different reputations in the United Kingdom. One, self-exiled business tycoon Boris Berezovsky, is famous in Britain for his calls to overthrow the Russian government. The other, governor of one of Russia's regions, Roman Abramovich, is mostly known in the UK as the owner of Chelsea Football Club. The first billionaire Berezovsky is suing the second, Abramovich, over a past they once shared. Berezovsky claims that his one-time protege Abramovich used intimidation to force him to sell his stakes in the oil company Sibneft, Russian Aluminium and the television channel ORT for a fraction of their market value. The High Court in London acknowledged receiving the suit. Now Russia's newspaper Vedomosti says it has got hold of the details of the documents. The first steps Boris Berezovsky made last year when he said that he intended to file a lawsuit. He filed it in the High Court of Justice in the UK. Last fall he personally handed the lawsuit to Roman Abramovich in a London boutique. Ever since then we've been waiting for him to provide a full detailed list of claims to court. We can see the date right there. He filed this report on January the 8th. In fact, it's not that hard to obtain that document. Indeed, the claims are in the public domain. In the suit, Berezovsky claims that he was forced to sell his stake in the three businesses to Abramovich, following a meeting, he says, took place in the south of France in 2000. Berezovsky made nearly one billion US dollars from the sale, but he argues that companies were worth at least five times that amount. What is known for a fact is that the shares were sold, but there is still no official papers showing who sold the shares to whom. There's a property dispute between the two parties. I don't think anyone um, disputes that he, he's had you know, the property. The question is, is whether uh, he, was, he was forced to sell it, as he claims. How justified are his reasons? You know, um, some might say that he's, be, he's doing this for a political reason. Um, Mr. Berezovsky is no doubt going to say that um, he has legitimate property interests to protect and that um, you know, he hasn't been able to do it until now because of, of not being able to serve his uh, claim. Abramovich, one of the world's 50 wealthiest men, is likely to leave the issue with his lawyers, as there is little love lost between the two former partners. Whereas for Berezovsky, whose net worth is estimated by Forbes magazine to be $1.1 billion, it is not the first court case he has been involved in. He's been long wanted in Russia on a number of charges, and in 2007, Berezovsky was tried in absentia and found guilty of embezzling money from Russian airline Aeroflot in the 90s. 1990s. So it looks like for him, this is the beginning of another long battle, but this time with a striking title, Berezovsky versus Abramovich. It is here at London's High Court that the preliminary hearing is due to start on the 18th of April. It is not clear what evidence there is to support this case in the court, but what is clear is that it will be a long time before the standoff comes to a conclusion. Dari Pushkova, Russia Today.